workers, good morning. So it's a Saturday and I apologize that my video is coming out late. I had people at the house yesterday, I had painters, uh, we were getting things fixed, we were getting things done. Um, so I kind of finished really late. And today is my mom's 75th birthday. And it's a big day for us today because um, my mom is a person that has been through a lot and I just think it's just so fabulous to be able to get through things and then just be able to celebrate the small gifts and the, which really aren't so small that we have given to us in life. They're really great things and I'm just really grateful that I'm able to be a part of this celebration with my mom. We've got a few things planned for her today. Now I'm on my way to pick her up so we can go for a morning coffee. Just me, my sister and my mom. And then we'll see what else comes out throughout the day. So anyway, okay. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that showed up at Thursday's workshop. I must say it was one of our best workshops because um, we had people opening up. We had good questions being asked and let me just say congratulations to all of you that actually take the time to come to these things because really I, I bow to you guys because it is such a great thing to, to be able to see your weaknesses and to be willing to change what needs to be changed and to be willing to put the work in to strengthen yourself up and to step up in general I think it's such a great thing and I bow to you guys and um, I really really congratulate you on um, showing up to have a better life like to change the things you want to change because you want to live the life that you want to live that you imagine and that's just great so um, at the workshop we spoke about affirmations for a bit and what I want to say about affirmations is that um, there are a lot of people that go through hard times, that have hard moments, keeping them blocked or uh, keeping them stuck in a situation for a while. And I understand that you feel as though it's a never ending story or that it's really difficult. But you know how we spoke about realigning our energy and understanding that we can think clearer and we can make better decisions uh, from a place of love and from a place of certainty and a place of guidance when our energy is realigned well this is what I want you guys to realize that no matter how bad the situation instead of panicking and just kind of grabbing your head and saying oh my god and I can't believe this is happening to me and I don't know what to do even when you do do that if you manage to stop yourself and you don't need to say I need to realign my energy and I need to get myself together you can just actually stop and just take a deep breath and say all is well all is well and I understand that this situation is happening because there is something for us all to learn now it may not be something specific that has to do with you it could be a loved one of yours that's suffering with something and there is nothing that you have to do and you you are forced to sit back and do nothing because there are things that we cannot actually intervene with and when things like this happen um, what I want to say to you guys is step back use the affirmation all is well there is a lesson to be learned I'm going to be taught something from this you need to realize that it's not your place to realign everyone and everyone else's energy and you need to realize that it's not your responsibility to help everyone else feel better and it's not your responsibility to help everyone else um, understand their inner strength and stand on their own two feet your responsibility is that maybe if they are going through, through something, sorry, and you cannot actually help, what it is that you need to do is take a step back, use your affirmation that all is well. There's a divine purpose that this is happening. God knows what, what he's doing or the universe, whatever it is that you believe in. There's a reason. 
I don't know better. So me just trying to sit here and protect everyone's feelings so no one gets hurt, it doesn't work that way. There are times when you need to understand that um, your responsibility is sometimes just to be around calmly in your own realigned energy to help your loved one transition. Um, when I say transition, I mean you help them do their thing, their thing that they're here for. Maybe a tragedy that they are going through is for them to be able to awaken spiritually. It may be their time. So don't take it personally. It may have nothing to do with you. You just realign your energy and sit back. And I'm not saying do nothing when there are things you can do things about, of course. By all means, take action. But when you feel that there is no more you can do, you need to realize that there is something else going on that is not your responsibility to fix. Nothing is broken. Life is not broken. Life is not damaged. We are not broken and we are not damaged. We are beings sent here to live this human experience, to awaken us spiritually. Spiritually to take ourselves to another level. So maybe, maybe the whole experience that is so chaotic and so fearful and so dramaful Maybe it's here and it's happening now because it's maybe not your time to awaken spiritually, but maybe it's your time to get a glimpse of it. And maybe it's that loved one's real time to transition spiritually and emotionally. And there are specific things that there are times that we need to step back because it's not our place to actually get involved or it's not our place to actually try and fix things. We are all individuals with the uh, ability and knowledge to understand who we are, where we are, why we're here for, and we need to step up to that. Okay, so I want you to work with the affirmation, all is well. All is well, and there is a purpose that all this is happening. Believe that you're inner guidance or believe that the divine knows better than you stop believing that um, that your plan is greater than God's plan okay so that's what I'm gonna leave you with for today I love you guys uh, I want you to work with it okay enjoy your weekend have fun and live with passion Bye.